so in this video of Moodle development series today you will learn about XML DB editor how we will use this and where you can take the advantage of this DB editor so let me tell you the first thing while developing any pl plugin or block you will require some table so that you can play with that table so XML DB is a feature through which you can create uh, or alter any table at the time of uh, installing the plugin or block so let's start how this XML editor feature will work okay so I am lo already logged in here with my uh, one local instance let me come to the site administrator and since this is a development tool so you will find this under development here you can see the development so click on it and under de under development you will see XML DB editor so click on it and here you will file all the list of plugin and block all the list of plugin and block that have been installed in your system right now so to play with your plugin you have to search your name so in my case I am about to edit this block so inside my main code directory I am coming under block then I have a block that is called list all courses okay so I will search he search this block here list all courses okay so block slash list all courses you can see and as you know XML DB exists inside this DB whatever you are using like if you are using block then come under your block if you are using plugin then come under your plugin then you will find DB directory then you will have installed on XML okay so here it is already open let me open again so you see right now only one table exists here in this XML DB but in ha in case you want to add more TV more table to the DB at the time of installing this plugin then you will have to add from here okay either you can add directly copy paste here and you can make the correction as per your need but sometimes it is a tedious job for a new developer to understand everything that is mentioned here so so that is why to fulfill that need it has been given here in the form of XML DB editor so that you can use directly here so I will edit here let me click on it edit and here you can add table new table from mysql view source code and view php code this and you see here if you want to edit you can click on edit this table okay at at this point of time there is three field you can see here like you have id then user id then time created three fields but if you want to add one more field you can also add here so let me add start with adding one more field so I will add new field okay so I have already click cl clicked on this edit okay so table edit so right now I'm inside this and I will add field click on add field field name let's say after change okay comment if you if you have any you can write here and choose your data type and the length in my case let's make it 50 okay and is will this be accepted expecting accepting null value or not so this is it will accept null 
सीक्वेंस नो एनी डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू नो ओके जस्ट क्लिक ऑन चेंज एंड यू सी दिस कोड हैज बीन एडेड हियर सो एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू विल नॉट सी एनी चेंजेस इनसाइड दिस फाइल व्हेन दिस चेंजेस विल अपीयर दिस चेंजेस विल अपीयर द मोमेंट यू क्लिक ऑन सेव इट विल बी सेव टू दिस फाइल ओके सो राइट नाउ यू आर सीइंग ओनली three fields here one two three okay so let's click on save click on save here and you and check for this file and you see entry have been made you can also see here the file updated that is showing at this current time 2348 you can see here 2348 okay and also you can verify here from the file you see after change have been added character and i have verify i have added the length of 50 and not null false sequence false and it will be add this was the comment i have passed okay so this way you can use this xml editor okay so one more thing in case you want to add one more new table same you you can also delete and the moment you click on same it will be reflected here okay but now i want to add one more table okay so to add one more table where you need to go you have to click on okay so i have saved this view original now you can also see here that xml file go back now again you have to go back to that xml editor to add new table and search for your plugin a block click again on edit and now you see these parameters are open like we have to create a new table new table from my sql so i will click on new table why because i have to create new table so so let me search for any name like so this one is a block name and i will be using this name underscore ram2 as my table name okay and this is the comment you can pass okay so id field you see here auto number it has been added id field now you can add new field click on it let's say it name care 200 not null yes not null change and you see here uh, you have id auto incremented and now you have name okay so again you have your changes get lost like the table name you were you have pass get lost because you have to save that changes so underscore ram2 i am pasting again here okay now click on save from here you can save here you can see the save save on it click on save okay so the moment you save your changes will reflect here here you can see okay but at the time of changing i don't uh, it is not taking the name it is taking that name okay let's try adding one more thing one more table like click on for that we have to again go back to this development then go back to editor search for that install edit 
in case you want to edit the table name you can also do that so let's make it edit this make it this click on change click on save and now you see your changes got reflected here okay you can see here let's try one more table again so for that again you have to go back to this development then xml editor then search for your block where you need to add table click on add new table ram3 let's make it ram3 and click on change okay so now you see and if you click on save you can also see the reflection here but I am not click on save yet I want add more field new field the moment I click on the new field it, it is taking me here name to okay text and click on not null change and here you see under this table now you have two field id and name to okay and you see this three one is not here you don't find here the moment i click on save it will be added here inside xml install.xml so click on save save here you can find okay so this has been saved now I can see here that table name got it so this way you can use your XML editor to create a table or update yeah, delete any f additional field yeah, remove any field from the table so hope you guys will try at your end to understand better thank you Thank you for watching.